Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial for Xtool P2. Today we will show you how to replace the connection cables connecting the Z-axis adapter board and the motherboard. This video has four parts. In the first part, we will tell you how to take off the external covers and plates. Then, we will show you how to remove the cables that need to be replaced. In the third part, we will guide you on how to organize and reconnect the new cables. In the fourth part, we will show you how to put all the parts back on. Things you need. Okay, let's dive right in. Disconnect the power supply of the machine. Use the hex head of the screwdriver to remove the five screws on the rear upper cover. Then open the lid to remove the six screws on the inner side. Remove the rear upper cover. Pinch the fastening ring to remove the smoke exhaust pipe. Use the hex head to remove the six screws on the rear plate. Remove the connection cable of the rear plate. Unplug the connection cable of the plate. Press down the connector of the air tube and take it out. Remove the connection cable of the fan. Remove the rear plate. Use the cross head to remove the six screws on the front plate. Remove the front plate. Use the hex head to remove the three screws inside the left upper cover. Use the cross head to remove the two screws on the front of the cover. Remove the left upper cover. Use the hex head to remove the two screws on the front of the left plate. Remove the two screws at the back of the left plate. Remove the three screws at the bottom of the left plate. Remove the left plate. Use the cross head to remove the three screws on the right upper cover. Remove the two screws inside the right upper cover. Remove the right upper cover and its connection cables. Remove the magnetic cover of the laser head. Cut the cable ties. Unplug the cables as shown. Use the hex head to remove the two screws fixing the x-axis drag chain. Unplug the cable of the camera. Press down the air tube and take it out. Use the slotted screwdriver to pry open. The buckles of the x-axis drag chain. Cut the cable ties of the x-axis motor. Use the hex head to remove the four screws fixing the y-axis drag chain. Two screws at each position. Use the slotted screwdriver to pry open the buckles of the y-axis drag chain. Pull the cables and the air tube out of the drag chain. Use the 2.0mm hex key to disassemble this plate, inside the machine. Loosen the three cable ties one by one.
and make sure to loosen the cable tie in the right corner pull out the cables that need to be replaced from the hole near the shaft and pull out the cables from the holes near the y-axis motor at the back of the machine use the hex head to remove the six screws fixing the water tank Unplug the cables on the water cooling system control board. Use the hex head to remove the four screws fixing the water pump. Move the water pump and water tank slightly to the side too. Leave some space for cable management later. Cut the cable tie underneath the water tank. Loosen the cable tie near the water pump. Keep pulling out the cables that need to be replaced. Cut the cable tie near the motherboard. Unplug the Z-axis adapter cables on the motherboard. Now, the removing the cables part is done. Connect the cables to the motherboard. Organize the cables near the motherboard and fasten them with the cable tie. Cut off the excess length of the cable tie. Organize the cables underneath the water tank and fasten them with the cable tie. Cut the excess length of the cable tie. Thread the cables through the opening near the water pump. Organize the cables and refasten the cable. Tie near the water pump. Use the hex head to install the six screws and fix the water tank. Connect the cables to the water cooling system control board. Install the four screws to fix the water pump. Thread the cables through the hole next to the Y-axis motor. Organize the cables and refasten the cable ties one by one. Thread the cables through the hole of the shaft. Refasten the cable tie in the right corner to fix the cables. Thread the cables in the air tube out from the end of the Y-axis drag chain. Organize the cables. Place the cables in the air tube into the Y-axis drag chain and refasten the buckles. Install the four screws to fix the Y-axis drag chain. Organize the cables near the X-axis motor and fasten them with the cable ties. Cut off the excess length of the cable ties. Place the air tube and the cables into the X-axis drag chain. Refasten the buckles of the drag chain. Install the screws to fix the X-axis drag chain. Reconnect the cables and the air tube. Fasten the cables in the air tube with cable ties. Cut off the excess length of the cable ties. Put back the cover of the laser head. Reinstall the plate. Now, replacing the cables is done. Place the left plate back. Install the three screws at the bottom of the left plate. Install the two screws at the back of the left plate. 
Use the hex screwdriver to install the two screws, in the front of the left plate. Place the left upper cover back. Use the Phillips head to install the two screws in, the front of the left upper cover. Use the hex head to install the three, screws inside the cover. Be sure to align the position and install the right upper cover. Use the Phillips head to install the three screws on, the right upper cover. Install the two screws on the inner side of, the right upper cover. Connect the air tube to the rear plate. Note, be careful not to make the air tube kinked when installing the rear plate. If it is kinked, cut off the part and reconnect. Install the corresponding cables to the plate. Then place the rear plate back. Use the hex head to install the six screws on the rear plate. Install the smoke exhaust pipe. Install the six screws on the front plate. Use the hex head to install the five screws on the rear upper cover. Then open the lid to install six screws inside. Now it's done you've finished the replacement of the cables of the Z-axis adapter board. We hope this video is helpful. Feel free to contact the X-Tool support team if you have any questions.